Hello everybody, it is me, Feezer Bunny, and welcome back to episode 1 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. Okay guys, so episode 1 is where we are going to be seeing some actual gameplay for this brand new expansion pack for The Sims 4. The first out of hopefully many expansion packs that's, that's where, that we're going to be getting. Literally though, stuttering... It's not even funny, but check out our sims here. Um, Jace is working out and then everybody doesn't care. Anyway, okay guys, as you guys can see, we do not have a house. We only have a lot, but pretty much what I did um, is that over the time that I wasn't recording, I built a house. It's a really, really simple house for our family here. But before I actually show you guys the house that we're gonna be living in, I wanna showcase, I wanna do a little bit of a showcase of all the items or like all if not most of the items that came with um, get to work so this is gonna be really exciting because it's my first time seeing a lot of these items so okay I I love how from right off the bat we are getting a lot of items like it, you know you get to access them immediately upon entering the game so we have this one new bed that looks like a B for me for some strange reason I don't know and then we have a couple of beautiful chairs um I saw like a transparent dining chair or something which is absolutely stunning but we have some tables over here as well and also we have a couple of picnic tables which I can see the purpose of it um you know I can I can definitely see the purpose of it like in terms of workplace, you know, you need somewhere to eat lunch and stuff. We have a pedestal, which is also really, really fancy. I love the simplicity of it. Obviously, that's something that you're probably going to be placing your products on, like some stack of clothes or maybe even a mannequin or something. And then, oh my god, there are a lot of pedestals and stuff. This is really interesting. So we are, we're having a couple of new items. Actually, we have a lot of new items that come exclusively with get to work so we have display cases and pedestals really really exciting we have some career exclusive items i think it's called active careers and of course we have like a photo booth which i'm actually really excited to use because it's probably gonna help me with making my thumbnails and stuff and of course we have a couple of cameras and slr we have some coolers and we also have some mannequins as well check them out so awesome and then what's the difference with this? This one is an adult. Adult female mannequin realistic. Oh, okay. So we have either a realistic or um, artistic, I guess. Abstract, I guess. So you guys can see that there are differences when it comes to like the features and stuff. Oh my goodness. And we have a bunch of new plants. You guys know how much I love new plants and decorating my homes. Oh wow, that is really large. And also we have a bunch of decorated decorative items for the wall decorations and then let's see here I have a couple of things mixed in with other game packs so hopefully that doesn't confuse you guys oh my god we have the mailbox actually that life simmer bought for herself which is really really interesting looking and then of course we have a couple of items as well we have some bookshelves that's a really beautiful classic bookshelf and then other than that we have oh there we go we have a bunch of new chairs i could have sworn there was like a transparent um chair that we can have uh which actually was a really really stunning piece okay there we go and we have to unlock it unfortunately so basically right off the bat you have a like literally though probably hundreds of new items that you can start off the game with but having said that what i'm actually gonna do is plop in the house that i made really really quickly it is a very basic house but it you know it gets the job done um, and I'm also thinking of maybe sharing this online for you guys. You know, I'm going to share it on the gallery. There you go. You guys can download this house for yourselves. So you guys want to create, recreate my game plan, stuff like that. So we're going to purchase it furnished. And then, yeah, basically it's going to leave us about a thousand simoleons or something. Yeah, it's going to give us a thousand five hundred simoleons to start off with. So basically this is going to be our house. Yay. Um... Let me just make sure that my gallery is like properly managed. You know what? I'm gonna do that. You know, okay, so let me just check this out. 
taking so much time though but yeah you guys can see that yes this is the new house but i think what i'm actually gonna do is make this the focus instead just because it is a little bit more attractive than the shabby house that we have okay you know whatever they can't process it whatever okay let us move on into live mode and i will showcase the house to you guys so basically this is a four bedroom two bathroom house that we have it is a very very simple house you guys but i didn't see a need to be over the top as of now because we need to focus all our money on saving up so that we can afford a business for kaylee and then other than that the rest of the sims are gonna grab their jobs and stuff so let me just play this actually you know what let me just give you guys a tour of the house really quickly so just really really basic accommodations we have um just a living room with a flat screen tv and a bookshelf we have the dining kitchen and dining area over here and then the two bathrooms over there this over here is the boys quarter so basically this is one of the bedrooms this is actually supposed to be another bedroom but it can also be a skill room which is basically what i'm planning to do and also the girls have the exact same thing they also have a skill room or it could also be another bedroom as well but i cannot wait to get into the gameplay you guys so what i'm gonna do is grab the sims's phone here and see if we can um find a job with our phone and of course i'm controlling maya who is going to be our doctor so yeah if she hurries it up a little bit okay there we go so active careers you guys we have three that came with get to work like literally i've said that a million times already and we are going to choose the doctor for maya because it suits her personality it suits her traits uh, professions careers oh what's the difference between there we go or it could also be called a profession actually interesting okay so like i said maya is going to be a doctor so let me just read you guys the description of the doctor career really quickly doctor who doesn't want to be held responsible for another sim's health and well-being are they being sarcastic a doctor who can advance in the medical ranks will find themselves rewarded with objects like a standing surgical light and full-size skeleton to brighten the home nursery okay to make the deal extra sweet you'll be able to unlock your very own hospital scrubs yes and patient gowns so you can play doctor at home no i don't want no scrubs no, i'm kidding that is a, that is um a reference from one of shane dawson's videos anyway love shane dawson so basically now hiring medical intern we get 18 simulants per hour and our work starts from 7 a.m to 3 p.m all days of the week except wednesdays and thursdays i think so we are going to accept and i'm really really excited actually i think yeah work starts in 18 hours and i wonder if all the professions start at like the same time i'm not so sure oh i love how he's reading he's supposed to be the athletic one actually so he shouldn't be reading actually anyway let's let me just grab jace's phone here really quickly and he is also going to find a job for himself as well and if you guys were paying attention in the first part zero um jace is going to be our detective i guess okay there we go perfect he's going to be the detective so let me just read you guys the description of the detective career here really quickly okay detective do you want to be the type of cop who never really off you who's never really off duty if so this job's for you and we've got the rewards to support that unhealthy lifestyle they are really being sarcastic with these descriptions unlock outfits that your police uniform to wear as pajamas teach your teen a valuable lesson for that c plus by dressing them in prisoner overall coveralls and transforming their bedroom into a virtual jail cell complete with prison bar walls and a wall and a decorative security camera as a bonus you can keep an eye on them with your very own one-way mirror oh my god that one-way mirror sounds so amazing okay now hiring a cadet we earn 20 simulants per hour, slightly higher than what the doctor earns. We work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And our work, like, lasts all the days of the week except Saturdays and Sundays. And we are taking it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And finally, the last person in this household who's going to have an active career is Gavin, who is going to be our scientist. So she grab his phone here really quickly and make him find a job he's kind of our nerdy geek so i think being a scientist will fit perfectly with his personality yes 
Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, scientist. Okay, let me just read you guys the description really quickly. Scientist. Calling all brains. Are you nerdy? Are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear tin foil on your head and decorate your studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they got the gray matter to change the world as we know as we know it can unlock new outfits like the UFO hunter. Oh wow, really interesting. Or objects like a swanky chemistry lab for concocting new inventions and serums. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm actually really excited with the scientists because y there is a new world and there is actually a new race of people in the Sims 4 which are aliens, which I've never really talked about that much. But in order to unlock the alien world, you have to be a successful scientist so oh my god the scientist actually earns the most with 24 simulants per hour and then our work begins from 10 a.m to 7 p.m and that yep our work lasts all days of the week as well except for saturdays and sundays as well awesome 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 i cannot wait for tomorrow you guys so basically for today we're just gonna develop our characters relationships and stuff but anyway one really really interesting thing that came with get to work is the baking skill you guys yes we can finally bake stuff so right off the bat we can just click on the refrigerator and get the baking option and then we can have three selections of what we want to bake we can either bake breadsticks pre-mixed brownies or sugar cookies you know what let's bake some breadsticks you know, in the long run, we're gonna have Kaylee be the one who's gonna manage our retail business, which, yeah. So, yeah, um, I, she's going to be our businesswoman. That's why I'm just trying to give her as much advantage, um, starting off by developing her skills and all that stuff. Actually, you know what, Jace? You're actually gonna go jogging today. And then, Gavin, let's see here. What does he need to do? Um, have two breakthroughs. How do we have a breakthrough? Uh, scientific breakthroughs can happen at almost any time that the scientist is a contemplative state. For example, while gardening, reading, or performing experiments. Oh, you know what? Let's just have him read something really quickly. He is going to read, um, you know what? Do we have, like, an option? Read something, whatever. Really doesn't matter. And then Jace, what does he need to do? Oh, he doesn't have work until two days, actually. So that's really awesome. Okay, actively participate in the workday of the detective. Okay, what do we need to do? Oh, so we're basically just going to have to work, work, work. And by the way, that is his athletic wear. You guys see, he is such a hottie. He is such a hottie, you guys. Anyway. Okay, let's see here. And yeah, pretty much he just needs to go to work and be good at it. Pretty much. Okay, Maya needs to attend an active work day at the doctor career venue. Um, but I also want her to like work on her skills and stuff because that'd be really interesting. Um, I wish it told me like from the get go which skills that I needed to work on so that I can prepare my sims and stuff like that. By the way, um, get to work came with this really really nice light that are very very bright and i love them they really make the house illuminate and that is awesome oh wow look at that it looks like he's having a breakthrough and it looks like the girls are having a nice bonding time so i'm just waiting for jace to finish working out and then once he's done he can go is he home check him out he is uh, such a hottie and you guys can see that i don't know for some strange reason i've dressed the sims in like some very neutral colors um, oh wow are we getting a breakthrough are we getting a breakthrough are we getting a breakthrough i'm not sure please tell me we just got a breakthrough or something well i love how for the scientist career we can actually do something at home to help improve our job performance that is a really nice touch and it makes all the careers a little bit different from one another i guess okay let's see her jace is home so i think everybody can now go on to the dining room and just grab some food to eat i guess okay let's just call everybody to meal okay and then hopefully they're gonna eat together because that's gonna be really really cute breadsticks look so yummy though especially if they're like garlic oh my god i, I i'm so hungry but i really want to record something for you guys so yay 
Um, hopefully this just doesn't make everybody gain weight or something. I guess everyone can just go jogging or something. Let me just speed things up here a little bit. And I think Maya has work. Yeah, she has work in 15 hours. So I cannot wait, you guys. Um, probably gonna be seeing a lot of the doctor career in the next part. This part is probably just going to establish the sims or actually no i think we can make it into the first half of the doctor career or something so yeah really really exciting so you guys can see them bonding and just really developing their relationships with each other because they are going to be living as roommates for the next god knows how many parts so it it has got to be a good relationship okay you know what jace you are a gentleman for having the initiative to wash the dishes but you guys can see that we have um we have the magic trash can with us so i don't think that jace needs to wash the dishes as of yet and by the way i didn't know that they can actually place the dishes on top of these closets and stuff that's really cool okay you know what maya you're also not gonna wash the dishes because that is a waste of 60 simulants oh my god she washed the dishes are you freaking kidding me okay whatever plop that inside the refrigerator and then kaylee can just i also want her to bake something else okay you know what you're gonna bake some pre-mixed brownies and then maya what you doing girl oh my god i wish i brought like um oh you know what both of you need to bond together because i did have in mind that i want them to be kind of in a relationship they they would work really well with each other i think they make a good couple so both of you just talk it out more choices friendly um gossip and then let's pretty much just have both of them get to know each other that they're really cute honestly they are a, they're a very attractive couple you guys i think maya is such a stunning girl I, and i keep saying this over and over again but actually um all the members of this household are actually really really attractive if i do say so myself um oh they can hug now that's really cool and then what else can we have them interact with uh, more choices and then tell engaging story and then we can also tell a dramatic story to him as well uh that's awesome and then let's see here Gavin is actually kind of a loner, you guys. So I think it suits his personality to be away from everybody, but he needs to use the toilet really quickly. Oh, yes. I want him to also have the handiness skill. That'd be really cool. Um, how do we get a handiness? Oh, I guess we can always buy a book and we should actually check purchase books and see if we have some new skill books that we can have to to give to the sims and stuff okay let's see here children's fantasy nonfiction, poetry romance sci-fi mystery skill awesome baking yeah oh my god it is so expensive no thanks charisma um comedy i think somebody probably needs the charisma book so I'm gonna get that and then um cooking um you know what let's get the cooking one and then nobody's gonna go okay fitness you know what no because jace is already able to exercise and stuff gardening actually you know what i want i want him to i want um gavin to learn the gardening skill because i do think that it's going to be beneficial and then there we go hands in us as well uh okay i think that's oh my god logic so much things to to buy um mixology painting okay nothing too crazy okay i think that's all we need for now because yeah okay so you know what i'm gonna have jace read the handsiness book where is it oh i think it's in someone's inventory actually okay there we go he is going to have the handsiness book and read that and then everything else we're gonna put um in the bookshelf of course and by the way i should have like i should have kaylee just read some oh no you're not gonna just read something you're gonna read the cooking book let's cook because i also want you to be a good chef we could probably own a restaurant or something you guys can see their walk styles are actually so cute uh premix brownies awesome jace honestly i didn't make you a bookworm did i 
No, he's not a bookworm. Actually, I want him to spend a lot of time outdoors. So he's just going to go exercise and do push-ups, stretch, and also do some sit-ups as well. Um, yeah, I think it does kind of match his skills to be out outdoors. And pretty much we're going to be working on people's skills. I want Maya to actually like learn the logic skill. So I'm also going to have her read um, the logic book, if I can find it. Uh, there we go. Logic. Awesome. You know what? I love how the Sims prefer to read books as opposed to watch the TV. How awesome is that? And then I think we're just going to follow Jace over here. Look at, look at him. He is so energized and feeling awesome. Hey, Jace, you can do it. Work on those abs. <laughs> I wish I had that dedication. Maya's new skill in logic will allow her to play card games, chess, and use scientific equipment. As the skill increases, <laughs> the one. chance of winning games is also increased and new interactions will become available on the microscope and observatory. Wait a second. I think, you know what, Maya? You're not gonna do the logic because I think that this description matches Gavin. I actually, you know what? I think both of them should switch. <laughs> or whatever. You know what, Gavin? You're just gonna read whatever you want. Oh my god! Did we just get a breakthrough? Did we just get a breakthrough? I'm not getting any notification about any breakthrough. I guess not. I don't know. Oh wow. And he has like, he's drinking something. That's actually really cute. Milk? He knows his stuff, you guys. He knows his stuff. You know what, girl? Since you're focused, I actually want you to keep in shape and go jogging because I don't want her to lose weight. I want her to be an example to people because she is going to be a doctor, you guys. I mean, seriously, though. I've never met a doctor that's out of shape. And this girl looks so much like us. Like, seriously, though. <laughs> and you guys can see that the neutral color scheme is persistent. She looks so hot, actually. She is such a hottie. I think she could actually pass off as a Victoria's Secret model if she, if, if the medical, if the medical profession doesn't work out for her. Okay, Jace, what else do you need to do? Actually, you want to work out still, so I'm just gonna have him go do push-ups, stretch, and do sit-ups as well, because I do want him to have an increase in his skills and stuff. Oh, both of them are talking. How awesome. Gavin acquired the vi video gaming skill. Where did that come from? And actually, I'm just going to have him learn the logic skill as well. I think that is also going to be beneficial for us. Handiness. Okay, he knows the handiness already. Um, so he's just going to read. No, you're not just going to read something. I <laughs> Read the logic book. There we go. An introduction to reason. How nice. Okay, and Jace, you're going to go do push-ups, stretch, and also do sit-ups. And then Kaylee, I honestly don't know what to have her do other than maybe collect some stuff. What do you guys think? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want her to exercise because I kind of like her as a plus-sized girl. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, please tell me you're just putting it away. Oh, and it's already 8 p.m. Time flew by, and our work starts in 11 hours. So I think what I'm actually going to do is to have the Sims get together and do, like, stargaze or something. Actually, you know what? Do we have the option to go on, like, some kind of group activity? Group activity, um, tell a group story, tell a ghost story about a mirror. Awesome. To everybody. I really want all of them to be best friends because that it would that would be the cutest thing ever, you know, starting off as friends, lovers, husband and wife, you know, and they grow old together. So that is like the cutest thing ever. Oh, so cute. Let's see here. They really do look alike, right? They are so brother and sister. And obviously, I want her to be like the older one, and he's like the the one that just got out of university. Check out his muscles. Oh my god, he is ripped, you guys. Oh my god. And you know what? If you click on him, actually, he does remind me a little bit of Dan is not on fire, Dan Howell. Uh, so Jay's 
was based off of Dan Howell, so just a little bit of information for you guys. And um, if we click on Gavin, he was actually based on Phil Lester, so you guys can also see a resemblance as well. I'll just speed things up here a little bit, make sure that they are bonding and stuff. Is this like the charisma skill or something? I don't know. <gasps> wow, they're already- they're playful. Interesting. Girl, you're not gonna go to sleep there because that is not your bed. Um, nope, not your bed. Actually, I'm gonna give you this bed. And then- uh, you know what, you guys? I think what I'm actually gonna do is feed the sims first before sending them to bed. So I'm just gonna open this fridge really quickly and just grab that. Grab all our food. And then pretty much just have everybody just grab a serving. I guess the girls are gonna have some brownies, and then the boys are gonna have some breadsticks, I guess. Would be great for them. Oh my god, everybody's already sleeping. Don't worry, you guys. You will get sleep. I love how some of them are in their pajamas. Oh my god, did they really give that to him? He is just wearing underwear, you guys. Like, seriously, though. Uh, but look at them. I love the pastel aesthetic of this look. Let's play. It's really interesting and different for me. Usually I would go for strong colors that are very rich. But yeah, really, really awesome. Hopefully you guys like it so far. Uh, yeah. It is also Easter, by the way. So I have a little bit of time to record a bunch of stuff for you guys. And I just want to say happy Easter to everybody. Our setup here kind of looks like easter right <laughs> i'm not making any freaking sense okay oh my god jace you acquired the comedy skill totally him because he's a goofball right isn't he no he's not um gavin is the goofball okay what does the goofball do um tend to be playful okay interesting i like how he's a goofball and he's also a loner as well nobody wash the plates please oh my god i as much as i appreciate the discipline like just no <laughs> no okay and i just want to make sure that everybody goes on to bed so you're just gonna go sleep here and then jace you're good this is gonna be your bed for this lp speed things up here a little bit okay you guys so what i'm actually gonna do is send the sims to bed and i will cut and I will see you guys when we are back in the morning time, okay guys? Alrighty guys, we are back and it is not yet quite morning time here in Willow Creek, but Maya has to go to work in a couple of hours, so I really want her to get ready. So basically, she's also really, really hungry right now, so I'm gonna have her grab some yogurt for her breakfast. I love the color scheme, you guys. She is such a sexy girl. Did I really make her like that? Like seriously though? She's so sexy. She's gonna live a healthy lifestyle. Like, she's like, you know what? I ate so many baked goods, so many baked pastries last night that I'm gonna try to be healthy and grab some yogurt. So let's speed things up here a little bit. I love how the other Sims are just like, yeah, whatever. We're chilling. You know what? We're chilling. We don't have work in a couple in a couple of days. So, or like their work doesn't start in a couple of days. So they can chill. Okay, let's go medical intern begins in two hours okay i also want her to take a shower um wait a second i want to see what it wants okay it wants her to be focused so she's going to th take a thoughtful shower or inspired really i don't know how do we become focused you know what let's just take a thoughtful shower and see what it gives us and then let's just drag that over to the magic trash can. are you guys excited i'm really excited this is my first time seeing like the brand new community lot and since we're going to like the doctor career venue um we are actually going to be seeing not one but two venues because the doctor and the office of the detective are actually located on the same zone or the same area or the same neighborhood so they're kind of neighbors we're probably just gonna be seeing the inside of the doctor area for now but we're gonna be seeing the detective one really really soon and i'm really excited and i'm pretty sure if you guys have seen other people's lps you've probably already seen the other areas as well i've never seen anyone do the doctor career actually because urban sims actually did his detective one and then life simmer did um life simmer i think did the scientist one first off 
Oh my god, and we ha we're seeing some familiar faces, you guys. I have a couple of sims here from my other LPs. So this is really exciting, you guys can see. We can probably like set them up together or maybe they're children, what do you guys think? Um, so she is pretty much all set for work. Um, she is slightly hungry though, but I'm not worried because... Uh, okay, we do have time to grab some orange juice, I guess. But like I said, I'm not necessarily worried because there are vending machines for the workplaces, you guys. How freaking cool is that? I love vending machines, like, from The Sims 2 Apartment Life to The Sims 3, uh, what did vending- To The Sims 3 University Life. Uh, vending machines have always been a really, really <laughs> handy source of, um of nourishment and food but anyway you guys we're getting the notification for maya's work okay maya's hospital shift is starting now can i join her or should maya go to work alone of course we're joining her yes and i'm really excited so what i'm actually gonna do is cut right here and i will be back when we are at the venue okay guys Alrighty guys, we are back here in live mode and I'm very excited to welcome you guys to the clinic or the hospital or whatever it is. Okay, so we are getting this notification. Clinical orientation. Welcome Maya Larkin to a vital and rewarding career in the field of medicine. Being new to the job, take some time getting familiarized with the location, the people, and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time, with skill, dedication, and a passion to help her fellow sims maya will no doubt go far in her career okay you know i'm very excited to see what this place is all about and you guys can see her wearing her scrubs i think is what you call no i don't want no scrubs scrub is a guy who ain't getting no love from me and no, i'm kidding i that i i did that like really badly hopefully that that, that doesn't turn off you guys <laughs> turn you guys off anyway workday ends at 9 57 p.m this is a very long work shift actually and then basically these are our first couple of interactions that we have have a cup of coffee greet two co-workers and greet three patients but before we dive into the gameplay i want to show off the medical venue the, the medical profession venue to you guys okay so this is the hospital it is two floors very very massive building located somewhere may be close to willow creek because you guys can see that it is actually very similar uh the aesthetic of this is familiar actually i think some of the houses that they used in willow creek they also reused it over here so yeah sure whatever i love how spacious this all is i wish there was like a helipad or something but anyway before we move on to the hospital venue i also want to show you guys even just the outside of the detective career venue probably this is like the police station right hopefully i'm not making you guys dizzy but yep the very very beautiful aesthetic very similar to each other i is that flag just floating there we go it's not i was like that flag pole is really really awesome anyway Unfortunately, I don't think we can edit these venues ourselves. However, I love the fact that we can actually go with our Sims to work for the very first time ever in any Sims game. That's why it's called Active Careers. Okay, anyway. First off, upon entering, we have these areas over here, which is probably like the waiting area slash reception area. And we have our receptionist over here. And then we have some waiting areas for the adults. Oh my god, these are so cute. I wish I wish th these were real magazine stands. That would be so amazing. And then over here, oh, we have a waiting area for the kids as well. That is so cute as actually... Um, I love how there's like skyscra skyscrapers in the background. You guys can definitely tell how excited I am. And I'm freaking excited. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay. And then over here we have some medical doctor equipment and stuff. Look like, looks like somebody spilled something. Is that pee? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> um, okay. Let's start off. Over here to the right of the venue we have... It looks like some therapeutic type of venues it actually almost looks like a spa but i'm pretty sure these are like for i uh, maybe psychological therapy or maybe checkups actually i think this these are where checkups are done or something really really awesome really exciting oh my god you guys there's so many new stuff and then over here it looks like we have um a ct scan area i don't know i don't i, I honestly don't know maybe it's a surgery area i don't know oh yeah i think this is like the surgery area because these 
like claws are what's gonna do the surgery for the doctors i don't know but yeah we have some interesting items over here we have some lights and we have some very oh treatment page treat patient treatment items as well really really cool i cannot wait until she levels up into a doctor and then we also have some workout equipment actually i think these are for therapy like if we have people with ha with problems with walking and stuff like that i think these are ther therapy for them we have a guest toilet which is awesome very thoughtful and we also have some treadmills over here which i'm ex i'm guessing is for the staff because there are some lockers as well yes lockers i've been wanting to make a community lot in the sims 4 uh, and I think lockers really help um, establish that. And we also have like this area over here, which looks like a cafeteria slash concession area. And then, okay, moving on to the second floor. Where are the stairs actually? Are there, is there even a second floor? Nope, there is no second floor. I think it's just uh, a design or a facade or something. But it looks like the venue will be able to do everything needed out of it. So I don't think the second floor is really a big issue anyway you guys what i'm actually gonna do is end this part with a cliffhanger but don't worry i will record the next part immediately after this one so yeah hopefully you guys have had so much fun so far i've had so much fun discovering all the new things with get to work and i'm really excited to discover all the new things with you guys so having said that what i'm actually gonna do is wrap this part up right here as usual, y'all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Freezer Bunny, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.